Earlier on, a lot of people felt that the skin, we abuse the skin a lot. So everybody, when you have a problem, you go to the herbal center, you go to the pharmacy, and they diagnose. There are a lot of common things that you can easily diagnose, yes, but there are other serious disorders. So what we are asking for is that the government will invest in, the develop, in the producing more dermatologists. That's number one. Number two, there are a lot of skin conditions we can't treat in Nigeria yet. And that's why I said the government has to invest in laser machines. They're expensive. Phototherapy chambers. This would ensure that people will stop going abroad for medical tourism. And then the whole idea that because somebody has a skin problem, it's nothing um, serious. One of the things we've realized is that skin diseases, like I've shown, they can be very stigmatizing. A lot of people that have skin disorders on their hands, they can't shake people. They're afraid to shake people. When you see people that have skin disorders, they cover themselves because it gives a lot of stigma. And so what we are saying is that there's a need to be able to treat patients with skin diseases promptly and adequately. Well, we must look at two issues that make people to engage in health tourism. Uh, availability of experts and availability of equipment. And those are the two areas that the government, I believe, need to invest more. Uh, government is doing a lot uh, given the res available resources. So we need to train more experts and we need to make equipment for treatment of patients more available. When we do those two things, not only will it serve the patients that are teaming to go out for medical tourism, but it will also make our health workers to stay back in Nigeria and that will uh, reduce, it may not completely remove it, but it will reduce the incidence of uh, brain drain in Nigeria, definitely. The skin is an external protector but it's also the mirror of the whole body. The cells have a biological origin, so that's what the skin, the nerves, and certain other tissues are developed from the same biological origin. And that's why when you have diseases of other internal parts, it can be seen on the skin. So like I said, for example, if you have somebody who is feeling tired all the time, and we look at the nails, and we see, like what I said, the spoon-shaped nails, okay, we're already thinking, this person has anemia. We look at the tongue, it has anemia. It could suggest an, an iron deficiency anemia. So we go to the lab. So what we are trying to say is that by examining the skin, things we take for granted, a rash on the skin, people take it for granted. They just go and see a uh, chemist who just treats that. It might be suggesting that there's something wrong with you inside. Like what I talked about, hepatitis B infection. We all know that hepatitis B infection can lead to liver cell cancer. And we found out that one of the common conditions like lichen planus. It seems to be higher in those who have hepatitis B. So what we expect is that if you have someone that has hepatitis B infection, I mean lichen planus, he would rather go and see a doctor who would say, this is lichen planus, let me screen him for hepatitis B and C. Yes. So that's why we say it's a way of revealing internal maladies.